Hi there, YouTubers, and welcome. I'm uh, Yachty Dave. This is it's just plain sailing. I got to the boat yesterday evening. Uh, there's no electric power on it at the minute. I just went down below, torch in hands. I found I had two foot of water. So far, this is the remainder of what's what's left. At the point I'm recording there, I'd um, already worked out that the automatic bilge pump, the automatic part of it, hadn't kicked in. I've put the manual part of the bilge pump in at this point. So I've had the mast taken off because the standing rigging's getting done. Oh, that's been done now. It, the, the mast's on cradles, that's why I've come down here this weekend. I've stopped taking on water and I'll sort all these problems out tomorrow. For now, I'm just going to... I'm going to stick a camp bed down the middle. But if I'm only getting down to the boat once every fortnight, once every month, I've, I need to have this in place. Yep, boats. Yay! Yes, here you can see um, this is the new standing rigging that I got done. Uh, the rigging itself is probably over 12 years old and I'm struggling to find insurance. They're all insistent it being less than 10 years old. Anyway, it's done now. Um, Last time I was down here, I was able to put my mast steps on really easily with um, these drill bits that they've got like a screw cut and thread on. So I've ordered more. Right, camp bed's down. You can see that. I've just folded my American camp cot down the middle. Over there. Put the Origo methylated spirit stove on for a bit of heat. And I've got my little kerosene burner in the uh, lamp. It's that little test like this that, you know, get your brain thinking and thinking, you know what, all right, so what? We've got a bit of an issue. Let's keep going, let's keep trying. I mean, I'm going across the Atlantic. You have to cope with shit like this every day. While I'm not there, I'm gonna do this stuff in slow time all the better. So the gist of it is the boat's pumped dry, I just need to clean it and give it a proper super dry. You know, I had the foresight to all, all the bedding, every time I leave the boat I put the bedding in them vacuum packed bags. So my sleeping bag's dry, I've got somewhere to sleep, roof over my head, um, I've got food in one of them bags somewhere, I've got beers. Life is good. Yes, indeed. My final big, big expense is getting a new set of sails made. Do you want performance or longevity? Long, longevity? Longevity? Um, the main on this, I, I suffer from serious weather helm. I'm constantly struggling to, to hold a, you know, hold a course because she always wants to turn to windward. So that's called weather help, obviously. And I think I kind of want to go for a smaller square area sail um, to be able to balance the boat out, to be able to travel more at speed. What do you think? Let me know. Morning. Oh, the camp cot really worked well. Right, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I need to uh, get up, tidy the boat out. I'm going to put the Habby tent up outside, just so I haven't got any of the uh, the rain. It is raining, just so I haven't got any of the rain water coming into the cockpit. I'm going to put the sails in the van and remove all the stuff out of here into the van that I don't need. And bring the boat stuff from the van back into here. Oh. Yeah, American camp cop works a treat. First thing I've got to do is I go down to Millets and go and get a uh, caravan extension lead shore power thing. Get back, get the heat going, get the habitat up, get that cockpit dry. They're really handy. Got them at pound stretcher. They're just um, like soft cell foam knee pads, but for a quid. Then when you're down on your knees, 
scrubbing and mopping up. They just take the edge off. Also good for working on deck as well. You know, it's blowing a bit in your, on your knees trying to pull a sail down. So I'm just going to let this dry out. So in the end, that took uh, four of them buckets and uh, two of the smaller ones uh, pumped out. The only um, RIP I had was my uh, ship to shore extension lead. I tried fixing it, but it kept on tripping out. Anything more than a light bulb, it just tripped out. So I went to Millet's this morning, bought a new one. Uh, it's got USBs on, which is really handy. Got 40 quid, something stuff like that. So I'm just waiting for the floor to dry out a bit. And then I'm gonna give it a good clean so it doesn't stink and stuff like that. Yeah, all dryers, eh? Me and Scotland from Goddess. It'll dry out now I've got that happy tent up. I'll try to take a photo of it later on outside so you get an idea what it looks like. But happytent.com, about 450 to 500 quid. But the difference it makes, it, you know, it's quite pleasant in there now. Oh, yeah. Right, in a bit. Right. So, um, there's my list of things to do. So, pump out water. Habitat. Battery charging. So we've still got a bit to do. Just chucking it down. The whole cockpit is soaking wet. And I think it's just slowly leaking into the cockpit engine hatch. So that needs sorting. But the hobby tent will cover all of this. And at least give me a bit of respite. So Wait for the battery to charge. I've got to go up to the, the van anyway and go and get the spare batteries. Uh, just got out the boom tent, the hubby tent. And I'm going to bang that up because if you have a look, tent, this is called rigid and it just makes things so much easier just having a work area. So I've got repairs to do. I've got, I've got to crack on. Back to the bilging. Oh, that's just me uh, sleeping bags to keep them in dry bags. But yeah, you can hear it's pretty horrible outside. And it's just starting to dry out in here, which is nice. So I've got so much work to do on this boat. So now just the job of uh, pumping out, drying out, cleaning up. I haven't stopped. Down below, is just, you can just start seeing it's starting to dry out now. So we need to pull this bit of flooring up now. And uh, start pumping out and cleaning that one. So I've, pulled, I've, had, I've had the bilge pump going. Uh, I'm sort, going to sort out the ingress where the water's coming. It's all fresh water, so that is good. So, Right, that is the culprit, this here. So water's leaking down from the cockpit and overflowing into that, so we need to seal that and make that more secure. I think it's a leaky hatch. And I've just been out to B&Q because one of the middle bilges it just seems to be loads and loads of water. I've gone through two full two gallon buckets just using a sponge. So I nipped out to B&Q. And I've gone and bought um, a drill pump with some hose, so I can whip it in there to the bucket. So, so I'm about to use this. So in order to identify the um, the sucky bit, let's see where's the arrows going on this. And uh, so this is the 
just identify it. This this suction. Right. Yeah, let's put that down there. <sighs> Hey, um, I did find in that compartment 30 meters of 8 mil stainless steel chain, which was a bonus. Now, I don't know whether that was used here as a ballast because it's smack bang in the middle of the boat, but just knowing that I've got 30 meters extra of chain. Results! Right there, right, just to conclude, I am a little bit drier, it's a little bit warmer, but it's a lot drier. Uh, yeah, um, I've done all the pumping out, the Habby tent has made a big, huge difference. I've taken the measurements of the engine hatch cover that's in the cockpit, I'm going to make a new one of them at the weekend, this weekend. That'll solve the ceiling problem on that one. Um, the self drainers are open again. Big mistake, huge learning curve on that. I've never noticed that before. Uh, but then you've got to think of the um, an empty garden bucket outside for a couple of weeks. Soon fills up, doesn't it? But yeah, uh, I'm going to keep the, nice, the little fan eater on until my lecky runs out, even after I leave here just to dry everything out but yeah I got away lucky there um, sorry about the footage I normally do it on the GoPro with a gimbal and it's normally a lot transitions a lot smoother but this has just been on my phone I've been solely focused on getting my boat you know okay rather than worrying about bloody filming if anybody else had these issues then let me know <laughs> Right, thank you for bearing with it. Um, not a sailing video by of any means, like but part of sailing. Right, comment, please like, subscribe, thumbs up, notifications, blah 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 blah. Alright, thank you guys. It's been a pleasure, a chore. <laughs> I'm gonna sign off, I'm gonna chill out, I'm knackered now. Right, bye.